Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jason with The Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Words of a Feather. Words of a Feather is a game published by Grand Gamers Guild, designed by Rusty Skiasia. Sorry if I said that incorrectly. Plays three to eight players, ages 10 plus, in about 20 minutes. And all that seems accurate. I've only played at low player counts, so I can't talk about the higher player count. Effectively, what you're doing in this game is you are, it's peacock themed. I don't know why, maybe because the cards are cool shaped. But you're effectively using some cards, two of these five cards that you have in front of you that have a word on them. And then you're going to include a verbal word to everybody on the table. And then you're going to write down a secret word that those three words are trying to describe. You're going to get a point if you can match somebody else. Everybody else is going to get a point if they match you. And you can also do some betting, either one or two points, if you think you're going to match with somebody else. That's it. You're going to play till a certain amount of points, depending on the number of players. And then whoever has most points is the winner. Or you can just play until you get tired of playing, which is, you know, how a lot of party games work. So... If you want to see how it works, we can go down to the table. Well, not go down to the table. Well, we will play it at the table, but you can click the link in the video description and you can see me play a round of it, but mostly I'm just showing you how it works. Otherwise, stick around here and we'll look at the components. All right, so let's take a look at the components for Words of a Feather. First off, this box is ginormous. Um, I know in the Kickstarter version, this, base here you can see it has three sections for bowls there are three bowls in there uh, i only have one bowl and three decks of cards so this is a ginormous box uh, that being said i think the box is cool so there you go there now let's look at the components all right so the components are pretty simple they are these really cool decks of cards which are like weird shape they have words on one side no words on the other you're going to shuffle them and there's three decks they just have different words so there's green red and purple they all function the same just different words you have this awesome bowl with these tokens these gems look at that let me see if i can get the bowl look at that bowl that bowl is awesome get all the tokens in there kind of sits on the board like that it looks the best in this one with the green ones it doesn't look as great with the other two because they don't match the deluxe version had other the other gems and dishes to go with those but that's fine player board you're going to write on it simple but effective and a whole pile of markers. You can see them over here. Uh, the rule book is not really a rule book. It is a rule page. And it tells you everything you need to know on this side. And then some examples on that side. That's it. It's a simple game. Um, it tells you what you need to know. So yeah, the components are pretty cool. I like it. The box is much too big. But the bowl and the way the gems work and it looks on the table make it all worth it. So that's enough talking about that. Let's talk about what we think about the game. All right, so Words of a Feather. This is a party game. Feels similar to, I don't know, what is it, that game? That, it feels like just one kind of, where you're given the clues, but the cards are also kind of clue-ish. So maybe Platypus and mi mi mixed with like just one, but with a peacock theme. It's a simple little word game, and it's just what you get, what you see is what you get. So if you like party games, you like word games, you're probably gonna like this. If not, you're probably not going to like this. So, I mean, I think if you watch the video playthrough, you're going to know if this is a game for you or not. I enjoy it. Not something I want to play all the time, but it looks awesome on the table. And I'll gladly play it if people want to. And it plays to eight players, which is cool. So, that is Words of a Feather from Grand Gamers Guild. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming.